what's this? Some fans send me an apple in the mail. What the heck am I, a teacher? Really? If I wanted an apple, I'd go shopping at the store. I'm more of a, a kiwi type guy, not apple. All right, we watching After Criminal. We're live at MCAT, undisclosed location. If you want to call in, ask a question, call 721-6014. We're live. Now, Criminal is kind of upset today. Criminal got kicked out of his house. Huh? Prohibition officer says that I shouldn't be uh, having dog fights. Uh, let's go to a call. Phone call right away. Uh, criminal, you're live. What do you want? Uh, yeah, I want to know if you know a lady named Penny Moore. Yeah, I want to know if you know a lady named Penny Moore. Uh, you know, if I had a Penny Moore, I'd be richer than I am now. Uh, she's a, well, she's a real slut, though. Yeah, you know what? You gotta kind of watch your language. Kids are watching, you know. So, uh, uh, as I was saying, got kicked out of the house. I was having dog fights in the backyard. I guess the prohibition officer didn't like that. So now criminal is looking for a new place to live. So, uh, if you have a place that accepts pets, because I do have a pet cat. His name is Bust Out. <laughs> um, let's go to the phone. Criminal, are you live? What, what, dude, what do you, I don't understand. Like, where's this show? Where's what show? This show. What am I supposed to ask you? Just anything? Uh, oh, my God. What are you? A nincompoop? Hello? Really? Man. And my probation officer calls me uh, a nanny. Uh, calls me stupid. Uh, anyway, yeah, you call up and ask criminal anything. Any, any criminal questions? Yeah, you're live. Hey, you didn't like my apple? No, I didn't like your apple. You're you the one sent me the apple. <laughs> oh God, kids! Should you be home watching some Disney uh, show? No, we're watching Scarface. Uh, my kind of kid. <laughs> my kind of show. No, Nana, get out of that cream pie. No. You know, criminal, criminal has respects for the little ones, for the kitties. Uh, maybe I should keep that apple. Uh, yeah. uh, all right, kid. Gonna keep your apple, it's right there for you. I'll eat it later, I guess. You're live, what do you want? Come on, I ain't got all day. I got uh, houses to go burglarize. Hmm. Anyway, criminal lost his uh, house. Uh, having dog fights, uh, you know, beating up the neighbor, because he's uh, messing with my pet cat, bust out. Bust out's a really nice, friendly cat. So if you have a place for a criminal to live, let me know. Has to be under $400. And uh, has to be uh, furry uh, critters friendly. Let's go to the phone lines. Yeah, you're live. What do you want? So being a criminal, have you ever been to jail or prison? Of course I've been to uh, jail and prison. I like prison 
better because the food's better. So what was your experience? Well, my experience was uh, uh, a book writing experience. I could probably write 12 books on my experience. Uh, I've seen many people get shaved. I uh, uh, I mean stabbed with a homemade uh, knife uh, or any sharp uh, blunt object. Uh, seen uh, people take bribes. Seen a warden take bribes. Pasta salad? Pasta salad? No. No, no, no pasta salad. A lot, a lot of uh, green soup, though. So, uh, I'm trying to uh, murder a young woman that I despise. Yeah, so? What would be the best way to go about that? <laughs> uh, let me put you on hold. I'll be waiting. All right. Criminal here uh, has respect for women, so uh, I'm not going to tell people how to go around killing people because uh, I have my own secrets, kind of like a fishing hole. Uh, hey, what happened? I put the gun on hold. Hey, you're live. Hello? Yeah, what do you want? Hello? Um, have you ever been in jail with Chuck Kenninger? Chuck Kenninger? Yeah. Uh, Charlie. Yeah, Charlie. <laughs> Charlie, that fat dog guy, yeah. Yeah, you know, you know, he's really fat. Yeah, he's really fat. He, he barely fits through the jail cell. I've been in jail with him many times. Is he your boyfriend? So what was he like? What was Chuck Kennedy like in jail? Ah, uh, man. You know, I didn't have to worry about uh, pancakes uh, being flat. You know, he'd always make sure they were flat for us. Uh, he always came in handy with things like that. Any other questions? What kind of guy does he think he was? About Chuck Kennedy. Uh, what kind of guy he thought I was? No, he thought he was. Man. A lot of stupid people watching your show. I already answered that question. Criminal answers the question once and once only. Criminal upset. Needs to find a different place to live. Uh, criminal, uh... There's some uh, activities at the house that the prohibition officer didn't like, and neither did the roommates. So, criminal's looking for a studio place. You got a studio place for criminal to live? Call me up. Let me know. Also, we usually stream live on Ustream.tv, but uh, we're having technical difficulties, so there's no live show on the internet today. Possibly I uh, haven't fixed for our next show. We are live streaming at MCAT.org. So if you want to see us on the internet, you can go to uh, MCAT.org and look us up there for the live stream. Now, let's get back to uh, my discussion today. My topic, my topic today is uh, finding a home for uh, Bust Out, my pet cat. Bust Out and I need a place to live, so if you have a place to live, you can email me at askacriminal at hotmail.com. Also, if you are not a fan of Criminal yet, you can go to Facebook and you can like us on Facebook. Also on Facebook, we're going to have home videos and home pictures of Criminal's life uh, behind the bars and after being released from jail and being released from prison. So go to uh, Facebook, like me over there. Uh, thanks for watching the show. And uh, we also have something else that the producers of the show want me to bring up is we have a uh, one hour Halloween special. So if you want to be on the show, send me an email to askacriminal at hotmail.com and I'll put you on the show. Also, you can uh, want anything to uh, do with production, you want to talk to the producers or directors of the show. You can go to Inside My Head Productions at Hotmail.com and they'll take care of you over there. All right, now let's have those phone lines start. 
uh, calling it again. Okay? Then, try to eat my apple. I didn't bring a sharp knife today, damn it. So, uh, <clears throat> I'm craving those thirsty. It's all the hard work doing this uh, live show. But the uh, criminal's been pretty good lately, so maybe criminal will get off his com com community service and uh, don't have to do the live show anymore. Hopefully. But uh, if I keep on uh, getting caught with, uh, you know, drugs in the house and I keep on, uh, uh, you know, having dog fights and the prohibition officer finds out, uh, we'll be able to do a live show. All right. Yeah. What do you want? Yeah, yeah. I want to know the best way to shoplift. Is it better to do it by yourself or with, with a team? <laughs> you know the experts. The experts. I'm an expert on this. The experts say that uh, the best way, the, mo the most common, is uh, with pairs. But uh, I disagree with that because you know uh, the person that you're shoplifting with, uh, you know, they could cause, cause more harm than good. So uh, it's better to do it by yourself. And you know, the, the best way to shoplift is to uh, go in with long sleeves on, and especially for like bubble gum and pencils and pins during the school year and stuff. You take it, you put it right up underneath your uh, shirt like this, put your arm here, start walking around the store, nobody knows it's there. All right, thank you. You're welcome. Uh, at least uh, that's how they used to do it. Ha. But now, now they got all these cameras, and they got a guy sitting there uh, watching the cameras, and uh, they're gonna see it, catch that. That's an old trick that uh, the old criminals used to use. Uh, that's currently not something you could use anymore, so uh, don't even try it. As a matter of fact, uh, if criminal submits anything on this show, don't go out and try it because criminal is not going to be held responsible for your uh, childlike behaviors. Uh, and I'm not going to be held responsible. So don't go out and do anything I might say. Of course, I can tell you how to avoid getting caught, but I can also tell you how the cops and the security are going to catch you. And they're going to catch you because they got all those little cameras and they got a guy sitting there at the desk just like I am. And, He's sitting there watching the screen, and he's going to catch you. So, yeah, don't go out and uh, uh, commit any crimes a criminal is talking about. I'm not being out responsible. I already got enough problems with my prohibition officer. Now I'm getting kicked out of the house. Got freaking apples being sent to me. I decided I don't want that apple. I'm against it. Uh, well, uh, Criminal's gonna take a small break. Kind of tired. Uh, been drinking a lot of water. Hold on. my cleaning rig. Oh, I forgot my cleaning rig. I like to keep uh, my guns nice and clean. Got a 22 here. I got a 45. Got a, uh, a Glock 9. And of course my favorite uh, is my shotgun. Uh, I got criminal. Criminal got in trouble recently. He got kicked out of his house. Prohibition officer didn't like uh, 
than the fact that I had uh, 100 proof uh, homemade liquor in the cabinets. <laughs> I, I, I had a head right behind the peanut butter, but uh, he found it. So uh, criminal got caught. Criminal has to find a new place. Do you have, have a place for criminal? Uh, email me, ask criminalhotmail.com. Let's go to the internet. Uh, let me check the internet real quick and see if there's uh, any uh, emails for me. And I'll take them into upload. Anyway, you can send me a question to ask criminalhotmail.com. You have a question for the producers and directors of the show, inside my head productions. They are the people that's producing and directing this show. Uh, once again, we're going to have a live one hour show, Halloween, October 28th. So uh, watch the show. We're going to have a contest too for all you viewers. You'll get a call up, guess what's in a jar and uh, win a prize from Criminal. It ought to be a pretty fun show. So if you want to be in the show, ask a criminal and uh, we'll get you on the show. Once again, we're not up live on Ustream.tv this uh, show because of technical difficulties. We're working on it to fix those problems. All right, there's no new email, but I did have an email from the last show. Some guy named McClare, uh, sounds like a donut, uh, donut personality. He had a question, so let's go to his question. He says, uh, what is the biggest crime you've ever committed? All right, well, thanks, McClare, for uh, sending in that question to askacriminalhotmail.com. Biggest cr crime I've ever committed. Um, well, <clears throat> let me see. Uh, murder's pretty big, but are you talking about uh, hmm, how much money I've gotten away with? Because, uh, you know, he wasn't a Pacific. Uh, biggest crime could mean anything. Uh, biggest crime could be, uh, you know, uh, a murder charge, uh, espionage, uh, who knows, it could be anything. So maybe you can send me another email being more specific. I'll talk about espionage and crime and stuff. Criminal has uh, respect for people in the military and uh, has respect for all of us who are serving. So uh, a lot of them are coming home locally, so I want to welcome them back. And 9-11 uh, is coming up. If I could get the technical difficulties to work, I'll have a live show uh, on Ustream.tv and Ustream.tv only on 9-11. So I uh, look forward to that show, but that's only if I could get the uh, technical difficulties to work. And uh, so you call us up, 721-6014, ask a question. There's about seven minutes left of the show. And uh, I'll talk to you about anything you want to talk about. So give me a call. Uh, not again. Also learned that time. Thought I had to go, but I did. Yeah, you're live. What do you want? Hey, criminal. Yeah, what do you want? Hey, my name's Chad. Uh, I'm just wondering, I tried to rob an old lady the other day. I tried to take a purse, and uh, she beat the hell out of me. <laughs> so, uh, just looking for some uh, advice from the criminal. Uh -huh. 
Yeah, I tell you what. Uh, well, first of all, your first mistake was you picked the old people because you thought uh, they didn't know any better. A criminal has grandparents. We have, uh, I have a great uncle. They're getting up there in age, and uh, you know, they know a lot. They know uh, uh, self defense, they know how to protect themselves. So that's your first mistake. Second mistake was uh, uh, probably attacking them during the daytime. That's what you did, didn't you? Yeah, he beat me with their purse. Yeah, it was the daytime, wasn't it? Oh, yeah. Yeah, see, second mistake, daytime. And third mistake was uh, you got you, you got to make sure that someone doesn't have weapons on them. Anything could be used as a weapon. As a matter of fact, you know what the most common weapon is to be used that everyone has on them? What's that? Uh, one of these. A pin. Oh, yeah? Yeah, you just take off the top, stick someone in the uh, wrist, eye, uh, yeah, especially if someone comes at you with a knife, you can defend yourself with a pin. You can hit pressure points. Boom. Do some damage. So, yeah, your mistake was she had a purse. That was her defense mechanism. Yeah. Any other questions? That'll do it. Thanks, Colonel. Yeah, yeah, have a good day. Huh. Huh. Well, he's lucky it wasn't uh, my Uncle Pete. Because my Uncle Pete. When have you used the first? <laughs> Uncle Pete walks around carrying a bat. <laughs> Smart. <laughs> uh, anyway, uh, again, uh, relief. <sighs> All right. Five minutes left of the show. Call us up, 721-6014. Ask criminal a question. Hopefully, hopefully I can answer any of your questions. Once again, this is being brought to you by MCAT, which is the Missoula Community Access Television, part of my community service. If you want to be part of the show, you could, uh, you know, call us up. 7216-6014. You can be part of the show. Send me an email to askcriminalhotmail.com. Hey, I think I see your kid that sent me the apple. was pretty quick. He got away from me. But I took his apple. <laughs> now I got two apples. I don't know where the other one is. I threw it down somewhere. But, uh, all right. Want to be part of the show? Ask criminalhotmail.com. We now are on Facebook. So you can like me on Facebook. Let's go to the computer. See if anyone sent me any questions. No new questions. You could uh, send me a question to ask a criminal. Hotmail.com. All right. Uh, uh, once again, I don't like apples. I'm more of a kiwi fruit type of guy. So stop trying to bring me apples. Don't like it. Criminal getting upset. Very upset. Criminal got kicked out of his place. Uh, need a new uh, house for me and my cat, Bust Out. Bust Out's a nice kitty cat. So if you have a place, uh, you can let me know. AskKermanHotMail.com. Once again, we're live and cat undisclosed location. As a matter of fact, they bring me in here blindfolded. I don't even know where I'm at. Then they make me set up the lighting and the, and the cameras and and the desk and the microphones. It's a lot of hard work for a criminal. Uh, 
Again? Oh, good. That felt real good. All right, let's get the phone start. Bring seven two one six zero one four. Call me up. Ask question. Criminal, ask question about anything. Uh, nobody has called up to ask me about, uh, you know, what it's like to go to trial. So uh, let's get some people to call me up, ask me questions about what it's like to go to trial. Uh, it's a very interesting topic, and criminal doesn't mind discussing it uh, with you. So, if you have a question, seven two eight six zero one four. For you or those of you who are there, slow. That's seven two one six zero one four. For those of you who are, are a little slow in the head, once again, that's 726014. Ask Criminal Hotmail to come. Uh, we're having a live show, one hour special, Halloween, October 28th. It's a couple of days before Halloween, so make sure you get your costumes out and be part of the show. If you want to be part of the show, you can be part of the show by asking me. On the internet, or you call me at 726014. We also have Facebook. I have uh, uh, 13 people, maybe 14 people on Facebook. You can ask me questions on Facebook. So uh, you, can, you can like me on Facebook. All right. Uh, now, on the next show, Criminal is uh, hoping to have a guest. Uh, if he gets out of uh, sync sing in time and he's able to make it over here, then uh, he'll be part of the show. So uh, that ought to be interesting to have another guest on the show. Uh, again? <gasps> What a relief. That felt good. All right, well, show's come to an end. I'm going to go find that kid uh, to bring those apples to me because I'm more of a kiwi type guy. All right, see you next time on Ask a Criminal. <laughs>